for us, this was, this is what I feel like I, I knew that I was supposed to do this. Mallory was born without reproductive organs. The ability to take patients with that devastating condition and for them to experience uh, typical pregnancy, um, I think is important. And that's the huge success. Even when you're waiting and like every phone call you get, you're, you jump, you know, you think this is gonna be the call. Um, you still don't really imagine what it's gonna be like. I mean, it just seems so unreal. Until I woke up from surgery, I still was like, this isn't gonna happen. Once I got the transplant, I never was like, what if it doesn't work? The uterus transplant offers another option to an array of options that are out there, and that women's health um, and, and reproductive medicine is really about making sure there are options for women. I had all the stuff, you know, like nausea and really tired and just all, all the normal pregnancy symptoms, I guess, but I um, just felt so grateful for every symptom because it was just a reminder that I was actually pregnant when I wasn't supposed to be, like I never thought I would be. You can see on everybody's faces how big they're smiling and everybody's just like very excited about that. I mean, it was probably like 50 people in there. Caring for a patient with a uterine transplant who is pregnant, it truly is multidisciplinary care, meaning that she had multiple specialties taking care of her. Ultimately, we do have a confidence about the success of this program um, and the success of these pregnancies. And I agree that with uh, certain patients, you know, I hope that this is an option for them one day, uh, for those with infertility. Babies being born is always a special event. But, um, and I, I'm using some strong words here, but I, I, I think of these as our miracle babies. I got to hold him and I was just very overwhelmed um, that he was actually there and he was healthy. It's really about restoring hope.